Well, if you missed this year's Southern Author Expo, which was in late January, don't worry because we have more special featured author events coming up in February and March. And you can join in to kind of do some Q and A's with some of these authors. We've got Miss Rachel from the Greenville County Library who always puts on great events. How did it go, the January 22nd author event? Oh, thank you for asking. It went so well. We had so many live viewers and we did record it. So if you missed it, you can still watch it now um, and really get to hear from everyone's personal perspective. See, this was really cool because this was an event really featuring local Southern authors and where most of the books that they wrote about, were they Southern themed or, you know, showcasing Southern places? So some were, especially the ones that really dug into autobiographical material. So some of the poetry was definitely Southern themes growing up in this area. Um, and then others were things like fantasy uh, and suspense thrillers. So really it ran the gamut of all the different genres that you might enjoy reading. So you can hear from all of these different types of authors. I love that. Well, let's talk first on Tuesday, February the 15th, we are going to do kind of a, you know, Q&A from Wendy Hurd. Tell me a little bit about her. That's right. So Wendy Hurd um, writes suspense and thriller novels. Of course, you can check those out at the library. Uh, Hunting Annabelle is one of the ones that's available right now to check out. Um, and she's going to speak with us via Zoom um, because she, she doesn't live in this area. So we definitely need to get her virtually. Um, yeah. And then you can ask her any questions um, that you have. You can send them to me in advance or you can ask them live. Um, so you can really talk to her one-on-one. -on -one. And she's even offering some signed book plates if you buy her books uh, at the event. So that's exciting. What a fun author to ask questions to because some of these books, you know, The Hunting of Annabelle, like that can be like, like what in the world do you think about? <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. How do you get that inspiration to write these thriller books? <laughs> right. Do we need to know something, Miss Wendy? So no, but that'll be, that'll be very fun. And then coming up later in the month on Tuesday, February 24th, we'll be talking with Denise Williams. Yes. So if you um, don't enjoy suspense and thriller, not to worry. This is a steamy, funny romance novels. Um, so she's going to talk to us about her writing process and her new book that's out now. Um, and so you can check those out, How to Fail at Flirting, The Fastest Way to Fall. Those are two great books. Um, available for checkout. And then of course, again, this is a situation where you can ask her questions. So if you want to know her inspiration for the romance, you can ask her. If you're interested in writing, ask her those questions too. Very fun. And then we all love this lady. She is very local to us, Deb Richardson Moore. She will be available, you know, at the Hughes Main Library on Tuesday, March 1st from 7 to 8. That's right. So this one's going to be in person. So do come out and support her. Um, I'm sure most of you have heard of her name before. So she wrote The Weight of of Mercy and then transitioned to writing mystery novels, sort of noir mystery novels. So her Brannigan Power series is what she'll be talking about. She just released a book last year um, and she's of course always working on new ones. So you'll want to check out what she's got to say about her writing process now. Great. And then a little bit later in March, March 10th from 6.30 to 7.30, we're hopping back on Zoom so we can talk with Ann B. Ross. She's the author of Miss, the Miss Julia series. Yes. So the Miss Julia series, I know is a popular series for all of our readers out there. Those are some cozy mysteries um, with the shenanigans of one Miss Julia. And she likes to solve little petty crimes in the area while she's working uh, with her friends. Um, so it's a really fun series. And she's written 21 books in that series so far. Uh, and so she's going to talk to us about her writing process and how she's inspired by the readers themselves. So I think that'll be a really interesting insight into what she does. That will be a lot of fun. And then, you know, at the beginning of January, you introduced us to the Winter Reading Challenge. This is for the adults. Now, it runs through March 15th. If people haven't signed up yet, is it too late or can they jump on now? Oh, no, you can definitely sign up now. Um, so you can sign up all the way until the end. And these Meet the Author events actually check off one of the boxes on the bingo card that's in here. Ah. So these events are a great way to go ahead and get your um, row from bingo completed so you can earn those completion prizes. Um, and so you can pick up the booklet, of course, at any library location or just download it at greenvillelibrary.org slash winter reading. Because all you have to do is read. You mark off your bingo card and then you're entered to win things like, you know, you'll get hockey tickets and the Swamp Rabbit. Uh, you know, uh, 3D space theme creations, some Roper Mountains, some all kind of really cool things just for reading. So you're probably reading anyway. Now just get a little bingo card, mark it off. That's right. And it's cold outside. So what better way to spend your time than to be reading a book 
And if you're entered into those drawings for those grand prizes, but you also get a completion prize just for doing it. So no matter what, you'll get something. Um, Swamp Carpet Cafe and Grocery are giving a free pastry voucher and an awesome winter reading tote bag. So you'll definitely want to check those out. That will be great. Now, Ms. Rachel, can you sign up for that online or do you need to come into the library to do that? You can sign up online for sure. So at greenvillelibrary.org slash winter reading, you can register right there. Um, you don't have to enter in your library card or anything. It's super easy and you can keep track of your challenge online that way as well. You sure do make it easy. We appreciate it. The Greenville County Library System giving us so many fun events all over the upstate. So thank you, Rachel. Thank you. I hope you all enjoy reading this winter. You know it.